Today we're going to be talking about the FCC, mesh networking, and uh, of course alternatives to your ISP. But first, my name is T Smith. This is TQA Weekly. So let's talk about mesh networking, a real form of networking that exists outside the confines of the traditional ISP-based system and a possible solution in challenging the corrupt political climate regarding net neutrality, a system pushed by publicly traded companies to hold hostage everyone's access to the internet free of any limitations. And I mean free of any limitations in the case of people that would have a net neutral internet or basically a bunch of corrupt ISPs and politicians taking that very right away. Net neutrality may have died temporarily and there is still something like 50 odd days for that to be rectified in the United States, but with few choices of ISP to actually have people pushing the market and deciding with their dollar, there has to be another solution out there. And of course, not too many people remember what happened the last time Egypt exploded into riots and Egypt attempted to shut off communication. The solution to that problem was non-standard communication methods such as mesh networking. And here's the thing, while that solution is slower than your traditional ISP, it speaks much louder because you don't have to pay an internet service fee in this case. And of course, by the way, all of packets work exactly the way networking should have. All of them have equal priority, no discrimination of packets whatsoever. So in the many, many years of me doing this show, mesh networking hasn't really been an episode of mine, even though technically it occurred in Egypt. And I really honestly don't know why, but it is something that is useful when you are trying to circumvent issues with traditional networking solutions, such as your ISP. And it is not something that is necessarily that far out of our ability to create. So how does one create a mesh network. Well, I'm going to seriously oversimplify the process, but it's based on the same idea as your local area network, and it is just another means of networking computers and other devices and other gadgets together. If you are capable of making your own home network, it's not that far of a stretch for you to be able to connect to others and create networks based on that. After all, most servers and routers on the internet are simply bigger versions of what we already have in our homes. And you can use anything from your RJ45 cables connected from one router to another, as well as Bluetooth, as well as Wi-Fi, and any other communication standard that works bi-directionally, provided that you have any means required for that type of technology to be inserted into a network and connected to other people, which means anything could be used as a means of communication, even laser and of course, microwave. So do we really need big ISPs? So obviously a lot of the reason why people were fighting for net neutrality has to do with YouTubes and Netflixes and all that being able to continue running as they are which is something that's really hard to do on mesh networking, depending on the size of the communication pipes that we are using. So that might be something that is useful from the ISPs. However, it's not impossible to achieve. After all, Netflix does actually, in many cases, send equipment to, how do we say, shorten the distance of communication from the clients over to them, meaning that there is a possibility that we could get bigger companies in on an idea that is as crazy as this is being basically the revival of the internet without the corrupt ISPs in the process, basically kneecapping them in a way that ISPs may not have necessarily thought of. After all, the ISPs and the government have long betrayed their clients in the United States not just with PRISM, but also with the repeal of net neutrality because of the current state of the FCC. And even though 
I am a Canadian. What very much happens in the United States does affect Canada one way or another. So the only way to get those ISPs to listen, short of having the American Congress overturn the decision of the FCC, is to do something that makes them weak at the knees and crumble under the debt they accumulate when nobody at all pays for their services anymore. And this is how a country and the world would take back the internet by rebuilding the internet from the ground up without the corrupt ISPs, politicians, and of course, federal agencies in the process. Now, if you are interested in learning in the entire process of mesh networking as a tutorial, I want you to make your voice heard because I'll be willing, provided there is support for it, to make a tutorial on such a topic as well as find other tutorials that are amazing with other technologies to allow you to be able to build your own. So you could experiment for yourself with this kind of alternative means of communication. After all, in some places where people actually watch my show, that might actually be a very interesting tool. If you want to learn more about mesh networking, go to tqaweekly.com slash se8ep17 and go to the source of this show, which is a Wikipedia entry called Mesh Networking. And that will give you an idea of what I am talking about. But keep in mind, this is one way of circumventing government control and ISP control other than using VPNs and proxies and Tor and all that. All of those technologies requiring the ISP in the process, whereas mesh networking doesn't need VPNs and proxies and all of the other technology that we use to make our lives private because mesh networking is the work of a community as a whole. Like if you like this episode, dislike if you didn't, and share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, for, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.